Hi, so many of you might have noticed that the Try Guys have tried Pride and they tried Pride with the buys. And you might be wondering, how did the Try Guys try Pride with the buys? Well, here's the backstory. So uh, it all started back when uh, we were organizing, when I say we, I mean myself and the organizers of Vambai. We're organizing uh, the first large scale bisexual dating event. And um, I was trying to think of ways I could promote this. So I typed into YouTube bisexual and the, you know, BuzzFeed three videos came up. Um, and I was looking at the one that said, you know, things bisexuals are tired of hearing. And I went down to the description. I noticed that in the description they thank, one of the people they thanked was Ian Lawrence. Ian Lawrence, who was uh, featured in a New York Times article last year. And Ian Lawrence is one of the people I was organizing the dating event with. So I then went to Ian and said, hey, do you happen to have a contact with this person, this producer of the that video? And he said, sure, and sent it off to me. I then emailed Abe Greenwald, who was a producer of that video, and said, um, so we're doing this uh, first time ever event. Would you guys be interested in covering it? And to his credit, he got back to me within minutes saying, this is a great idea. We'd love to be involved. So we went back and forth chatting about what we can do, and he suggested I come in for a brainstorming session to you know, come up with some ideas. So I thought, of, you know what? This would be a great opportunity to suggest some other videos because they only have three and they're very popular. So maybe they'd like to do some more. And the first video idea I came up with because I, I so love BuzzFeed and I was familiar with it was, how are the Try Guys Try Pride? And they could try Pride with the buys. Well, um, that, I locked that in my memory with six other video ideas. So when it came time to the day, I was invited in. Uh, we went and we had chat. Abe is a super cool guy, really nice. Um, and we chat about his ideas for the, for the dating event video. And then I said, by the way, uh, you know, I came up with a couple other ideas if you'd like to hear them. And I pitched him. Um, and then when I got to the Try Guys video, he paused, looked away and said, I want that to happen. So uh, that was a positive sign. So we ended the, the meeting and went back and um, continued chatting, but it turns out that he couldn't do the video on the, on the event um, because of, because of the, his shifting part in the company, long story. But anyway, he said, but I'm gonna put you in contact with a couple other people who might be able to do it. So he put me in contact with uh, two people, one of which was Katie LeBlanc, who was the producer of the Try Guys video. He said, so she said to me in the email, so uh, Abe says that you have some ideas about the Try Guys. And I, I went and I pitched the idea to her. And she, to her credit, loved the idea. And then she took the video to the Try Guys. And the Try Guys, to their credit, really became excited about the idea. So uh, then I had to go to, you know, the Ambi folks, Ian and, and David and whatnot, and uh, tell them about it. And of course, they were ecstatic about it. So then um, myself and Ian, we got together and we, we kind of had a, a brainstorming session of what it is we could, you know, offer the Try Guys that they could be doing at Pride. So we came up with the idea of um, putting them in bikini underwear, as you see in the video, and uh, dressing up in something crazy. And then we talk about, you know, having them walk under the flag and and run on the side and hand out stuff. And like, we, we kind of came up with a long list of things that they could do right on top of the truck. And then I went, I, I emailed Katie and said, these are the things that we think might be interesting for you guys to do and you guys can do, you know, whatever you like with it. And Katie emailed me back saying, you know, this, this, and this, which was of course the most fun and interesting stuff. Of course, I mean, we had a feeling they would say that, so yeah. Um, so at that point, um, I brought Ian into the whole email chain and. And I was very happy to then say, so Katie, here's Ian. Ian will now be, will take it off, take, you know, I'm putting you in Ian's hands. Ian's will take care of everything after that. In which case he did, he arranged all the details of them being there. And you can see Ian in the, when the Try Guys are asking, you know, so what is this event about? That's Ian with the beard. Um, and he did all that stuff wonderfully. And I like to point out just, you know, all the various people in the video, it, when they're doing that introduction, you can see Ian and you can see a black woman on the side of him. And I like to give credit to her because 
you know, all this, we kind of have to be conscious of what will look like to the outside world. And the truth is the bisexual community, as you can see, is a very diverse group. And I can tell you that the person, that woman, did not completely desire to be put on camera like that. Um, but she did it because she knew the importance of diversity, of you know, of representing diversity, and she knew the importance of of being involved. So she did it out of out of reluctance, and but out of a sense of kind of purpose. Because if you are a part of the black community, whether it's the you know, African American community or the Caribbean black community, like myself, or an African community, you know that there's some real bad homophobic sort of biphobic sort of everything phobic stuff in the in the black community so being representative is very important so i just want to give some credit to her and all the other people who were involved in the video who might not have been the the you know biggest ideas of being as video centric as others are um so then they went and they shot it uh shot the videos they went out and got the side footage of them talking to all the other people saying you know what are you proud of um, and, and Katie came up and the guys came up with a awesome concept of having that whole, you know, what are you proud of kind of theme going throughout. And they ran around and jump on the trucks and videotape this and videotape that and videotape from that angle. Because the truth is that the, the, the run is only like 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. So they had to get all these different angles and all these different things in 30 minutes. It was an awesome job done by them. So afterwards, you know, they had a great time. Everyone had a great time. And everyone went off. And uh, the truth is that, I mean, many of us knew that the ruling on the same-sex marriage, marriage equality, um, was coming up. Because the, the Supreme Court session has ended, and that's when they kind of just threw out a lot of the rulings. But no one knew exactly when. And honestly, to many people, it kind of just slipped out of our minds. So when this came up, just on Friday, I... I give, again, credit to Katie because, you know, and the people at BuzzFeed, all of her team, all the editors and everyone, because they said, oh, we need to show how we feel about this. And the way they showed how they feel, felt about it was in large part with that video saying, look, we, we're all one. And that's so wonderful. That is so wonderful. And in which case they rushed it because the truth was they weren't going to release it until the weekend. But because of this, they, they just jammed it and just jammed it out and did an excellent job with it. Uh, and that's how it all came about on the day, on that historic day. So um, I hope you found it interesting. And I'd like to kind of just kind of make a note here that there's so many people out there that want to help. There, there's so many giving people. There's so many people who want to change society um, and they're willing to do stuff. And it's just a matter of how you approach them. Like, I know that when I went into BuzzFeed, I went in there with a smile. And I also went in there with the main focus of how can I be of service to you? Because, you know, they have jobs to do. They're all a part of this stuff. They want to help, but they can't go outside of what they can do. So by me going, how can I make this easier for you? How can I create, help you create something that has lots of views? I want to be in service to you. Um, allow me to help. It allowed them to say, well, this is how we could work together. So if you go in there with a smile, you go in there with a, an attitude of service, you'd be surprised how many things you can make happen. And the Try Guys video is just a perfect example of that. And I, and I kind of challenge you to say, you know, if you took on that same sort of attitude and tried to change the community in some way, how many things would you be able to accomplish? Just a question. Anyway, so that's the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more bisexual videos, I do plenty of them. So please subscribe. Until the next time, bye.